Hi, everyone. Thanks for being with us today. As you can see, we're now joined by Coyotes forward Logan Cooley, who signed a new three-year contract with the Coyotes today. Logan, congratulations. We're thrilled to have you at the organization. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. We appreciate you doing this today. Um, if anyone has a question for Logan, please click on raise your hand. We'll start things off with uh, Craig Morgan from PHNX. Go ahead, Craig. Hey, Logan. First off, congratulations. I know this is something you've been looking forward to for a long time. So let me just start by asking you, what were the factors that tipped the scales and made you decide not to go back to Minnesota to actually come play for the Coyotes this season? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, any hockey player, it's their, it's their goal to play in the NHL. And obviously, that was my dream. Um, you know, I want to play at the highest level I can. I want to be pushed every day. I want to play with the best. And um, honestly, I'm just super excited uh, the future of the Arizona Coyotes and the direction they're going in. Um, you know, obviously that you saw the moves they made at the deadline, um, you know, their coaching staff, the ownership group, um, you know, so happy to be a part of it. And, you know, I can't wait to get going. Did being here at development camp maybe open your eyes to that a little bit more? Did it get you a little more excited about that possibility? Yeah, I'd say a little bit. I mean, anytime. Um, you know, you put that Coyote jersey on, even if it's just a practice jersey, it means a lot and definitely means a lot to me. So, um, you know, anytime you can put that NHL jersey on and compete against the other prospects and, you know, kind of see where you're at against them, it was super special. And um, that's kind of when I knew that, you know, I, I think I'm ready for the next step. Just a couple more for me, Logan. Uh, how did you manage the, um, the conversations, the dialogue, the constant communication I guess, with Bob Motzko and the University of Minnesota's program to let them know what was going on and how this might still be a possibility? Yeah, well, first of all, I would like to thank the University of Minnesota for everything they did. Um, you know, it's seriously the best place to play college hockey. And, um, you know, the coaching staff did such an amazing job for me. And, um, you know, obviously my teammates, they pushed me every day. Um, you know, the fans, it was so unbelievable playing in front of them. And, um, you know, obviously it wasn't an easy call at all. I was, you know, kind of dreading it for a while now, but, um, you know, I think, you know, both parts handled it well. And, um, you know, obviously, like I said, it wasn't the easiest, but, you know, um, you know, happy with my decision right now. Last one for me, Logan, what do you see as the specific challenges in making the leap from college to pro and how are you using the summer maybe to help make that leap? Yeah. I mean, obviously the NHL, um, you could tell it's just way bigger, way, way stronger, way faster. Um, it's definitely going to be an adjustment, but, um, you know, during the summer, I've been training with guys like JT Miller, Vince Trocek, um, just learning little things from them to, you know, help, to help me adapt in the NHL. It's, um, you know, I've learned a lot and, um, you know, obviously it's, it's going to take some time, um, but I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks, Logan. Go next to Patrick Brown with uh, ArizonaCoyotes.com. Go ahead, Patrick. Hey, Logan. Congrats, and thanks for taking a little time today. Um, just starting out wondering if you've had any conversation with any anyone on the team, um, any prospects, uh, how those conversations have gone, and who you're looking forward to playing with next year. Yeah, I mean, I've, I got a text from Keller. Um, you know, we've been had the chance to talk with him a decent amount this summer. Uh, you know, he's helped – Guide me through some little things over the summer, which, you know, I'm very grateful for. So, um, you know, anytime you get a chance to play with a, a player like him would be pretty special. So, um, you know, I definitely, he was a player I loved to watch growing up. Um, you know, a player I honestly tried to play like too. So, um, you know, I'd, I'd love to be able to play with him one day. And, um, you know, I'm thankful that I also got to learn some things from him also. I know it's a lot to take in and a lot to think about right now, but I am curious, what are you most looking forward to in this upcoming season and, and jumpstarting your professional career? Yeah, I mean, I think just to meet, you know, my new teammates. Um, obviously, like I said earlier, to put on the Arizona Coyotes jersey, um, you know, to represent them. And honestly, to help this team eventually get to, you know, a Stanley Cup is, is my goal. And that's everyone else's goal who, you know, plays in the IHL, they want to win. You know, it's a business now, and, um, you know, I want to contribute. Okay, I can to the team win the Stanley Cup. Awesome. Thanks so much, Logan, and congrats again. Thank you. Go next to Robbie Baker with Fox 10. Go ahead, Robbie. 
Hey, Logan, uh, thanks for uh, taking a few minutes today. I'm also a uh, Pittsburgh guy, so if you need somebody to watch Steelers games with in the fall, just let me know. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Uh, I apologize if this was asked before I uh, joined on the Zoom call, but just some of the moves that Bill Armstrong and the team made, bringing in Kerfoot and Zucker, it seems like they're kind of putting their foot on the gas a little bit here moving forward. Did that factor in at all to your decision of making the, the jump here? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you you want to compete every day. You want to, like I said, hopefully one day win the Stanley Cup. And, you know, adding those players, um, you know, is a step in the right direction. And, um, you know, I want to say it's hard to pass up playing in the IHL, especially, you know, how exciting it is to be a Coyote. So it was definitely, definitely played a factor. And, you know, I'm happy to chip in a little bit here. And I was also just wondering during uh, development camp a few weeks ago, was there maybe a moment uh, when it kind of clicked or was it something you were already thinking about going into development camp that you were ready to make this jump? Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, it's something that, you know, I kind of been thinking about all summer is just trying to figure out what the best fit was. And, um, you know, there was a ton of different factors. There wasn't a specific point where I was, you know, leaning one way or another. But, um, you know, I kind of just took the pros and cons of both. And I ended up thinking that going to the Coyotes is the best fit for me right now. Awesome. Thanks, man. Congratulations. Yep. thank you. Going next is Seth Rohrbaum with The Athletic in Pittsburgh. Go ahead, Seth. Hey, Logan, appreciate your time and congratulations. Uh, just kind of working the Pittsburgh angle here. Uh, you say you've been working out or, or you, know, you know, working out with uh, uh, Vince and um, JT up in Pittsburgh. Is that up in Cranberry and stuff? You guys been skating and stuff? Yep, out at uh, Barrow. Okay. Um, uh, just what kind of things have they, have they maybe kind of you know, passed on to you just in terms of, you know, things on the ice, off the ice? Just what kind of advice – as much as you want to, you know, reveal, have they passed on to you? Yeah, I mean, it's it's just, you know, little things on the ice, little details of the game, um, you know, whether it's it's your shot, um, you know, different release points, little things like that, um, you know, protecting the puck. So, you know, I've learned a lot. It's been, you know, extremely helpful. It's been, you know, a great summer so far, especially going against, you know, a guy like J.T. Miller who put up 99 points. So, um, you know, anytime you could go against – one of the best players in the league and, um, you know, train against him and, and push each other. It's, it's pretty special. And, um, you know, I, I know you haven't played a game yet, but what's it like to be part of that fraternity? There's a very limited fraternity of, of guys from Pittsburgh who've gone to the NHL. What's it like to take another step towards being part of that, I guess? Yeah, it's an honor. Um, you know, I think the city of Pittsburgh, it's, it's only going to continue to grow, um, you know, with the hockey part and, more kids are playing and, um, you know, obviously to put my name with, you know, guys like John Gibson, Trocek, JT Miller, it's, it's pretty special. And, you know, I'm happy to be a part of it. And last one for me, um, you know, if, I, I know you probably haven't thought this far ahead, but if things go as planned, I mean, you'll be playing the Penguins this, here in Pittsburgh, December 12th. Have you thought at all, or, or do you have any idea what that night might be like or what that get, day might be like for you? Yeah, it's kind of hard not to think about it, um, especially because I drive by that rink going to practice every day. So, um, you know, obviously it's it would be so special to me and my family. Um, you know, obviously I'd, I'd have a ton of family and friends there. And, um, you know, I grew up going to those games, watching Sidney Crosby, and um, it would definitely be an honor. And, um, you know, I'd be really looking forward to that. Thank you, Logan. Yep. We'll go next to Ryan Kennedy with the Hockey News. Go ahead, Ryan. Thanks, Rich. Uh, thanks for doing this, Logan. Um, you know, last year, the Coyotes had Dylan Gunther in the NHL, and they sent him to the World Juniors to, to play for Canada. Obviously, you played at the World Juniors last year with Team USA. Have there been any discussions or thoughts about uh, you maybe going to that tournament and, and trying to get a gold medal this year? No, I haven't really thought about that too much. Um, you know, I would say I want to stay in the league as, as much as I can. Um, you know, if hopefully we're in the position to, you know, be really competitive to, you know, even push for the playoffs, hopefully. So, um, you know, obviously anytime you could rep represent your country, it's pretty special, but, you know, for right now, my goal is to, you know, hopefully stay with the Coyotes. Thank you. Go to, uh, Remy Masti with the Hockey News as well. Go ahead, Remy. 
Hey, Logan, congratulations on the new contract. I was just wondering if there are any specific NHL players today that you model or replicate your game after. Yeah, I mean, I think um, growing up as an American, you always, you know, watch a guy like Patrick Kane. Um, you always see he's one of the best to ever play. So, um, you know, we're similar size. I love the way he plays the game. Um, obviously, he's super skilled and you know, I try to put some of the things he does on the ice into my game. So he's definitely a guy I love to watch. Thank you. Go next to Jenna Ortiz with the Arizona Republic. Go ahead, Jenna. Hi, thanks for taking the time. When going back to your decision, I mean, who were some of the people that were very helpful with that gave you the best advice that helped consult you with this? Yeah, I mean, obviously my family, um, you know, my agents, this Bartlett group, um, you know, a guy like Keller. Um, so there was definitely a lot of people, a lot of people I leaned on for support. And, you know, there's a, there's a lot of discussions on, on what to do. Um, you know, there was a lot of talks over this past, over this summer. So definitely, um, you know, it took a while to kind of see what the best fit was. And like I said, going to the Coyotes, I thought was the best fit. Was there any advice that kind of stuck with you? Uh, nothing really specific. I think it's just coming down to honestly seeing where I was at, you know, in my stage and, um, kind of finding the best fit that, you know, I could be successful at and, um, you know, with my family, my agents, and we thought that, you know, going here was the best fit. Thank you. Uh, I know in the outside hockey world, maybe for people who haven't spent a lot of time around this organization, there's a certain perception um, what what have you learned in your time here that you think some people who maybe don't know as much about this organization are missing? Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, I don't know how those type of people, what they're really, I mean, it's just, I guess what they think is funny. So I don't really pay attention to that stuff too much, honestly. But, you know, I know what's on the inside of, you know, what the coaching staff thinks and um, obviously the ownership, um, the players. So, it's kind of, you know, focus on what's inside the, the coyotes, the things that actually matter. So, um, you know, the stuff on the outside noise, it, it doesn't really affect, you know, my decision of whether going to the coyotes or anything like that. Thanks, Logan. Any last questions for Logan? All right, Logan, thank you so much for doing this, buddy. Uh, we're thrilled to have you with the organization. Uh, enjoy the day and celebrate, and we'll talk to you soon. Sounds good. Thank you.